Hi, I'm Duncan McHugh. Welcome to Cross Country Checkup, the show that provides information for our listeners that they could easily get through a Google search. <laughs> Today's question, how has marijuana legalization affected Canadians? Joining me is President for a Marijuana-Free Canada, Ms. Prudence DuPont. Hello, Mr. McHugh. Now, Ms. DuPont, your organization opposes the Cannabis Act? Correct. Mary Juana is a gateway drug to a path of self-destruction. First, it's smoking cannabis, then a life of crime, then the ultimate indecency, working for Rogers. Yikes. <laughs> well, uh, let's go to the phones. Our first caller is Tommy from Edmonton. Oh, hey, man. Long-time listener, first time. Caller? No, I'm a listener, man. <laughs> I smoke weed my whole life, and I'm still a productive member of society. You can just ask my parole officer. You see, Duncan, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, lady, you sound like a total narf, man. How rude. Young man, if you were here, I'd serve you some proper etiquette. Oh, cool. I love edibles. <laughs> I'll be right over. Oh, but we're in Toronto. Uh, Tommy? Duncan, this sinister narcotic completely distorts a person's sense of reality. Oh, that's odd. Wow. Hey, man, long-time listener, first-time visitor. Tommy. Yeah, I would have got here quicker, man, but there's no more greyhounds in Edmonton. This is insanity. Yeah, I know Canada really needs those buses. Uh, please, join us, Tommy. Oh, thanks, man. Ah. Oh, far out, man, front row seats. <laughs> Tommy, what do you feel is the greatest benefit with marijuana legalization? Well, keeping marijuana out of the hands of organized crime. You mean the mafia? No, I mean the RCMP. <laughs> well, uh, let's take another call from Carol in Dartmouth. My doctor said marijuana will help with chronic pain. Is that true? Totally got this one, Duncan. Uh, Carol? Evidence suggests that marijuana successfully inhibits the transmission of pain. Balderdash, do you have any scientific proof to back that claim? Well, I'm listening to you right now. <laughs> and I don't feel anything. Well, it's undeniable the huge economic benefits from the marijuana taxation. So true, man. I've saved BC economy, man. This is Northern Lights, man. Smoke this, and for the rest of the week, all you will see... Um, Northern Lights? Whoa, that's way better than what I saw, man. <laughs> Mr. Tommy, you have failed to mention the dangers of marijuana and impaired driving. How can you tell if someone's operating a car under the influence? Well, first of all, if they're under their influence, they're not operating anything, man. <laughs> they can't find their car keys. <laughs> Let's take another call from Lawrence in St. Albert. Hey, Tommy, it's Lawrence. Oh, hey, Lawrence, how's life, man? Dude, yesterday I saw a giant Canada goose, so I got on my cycle and started pedaling. Whoa, did you catch it? No, I was on an exercise bike, <laughs> and the Canada goose was on my jacket. I don't see how this is at all relevant. Oh, give him a break, man. He's my parole officer. <laughs> Last caller, uh, Joan and Brandon. Hi, I've never tried weed before. What's the best way to smoke it? Well, you can't go wrong with the bong. Yeah. And they're so easy to make, man. You know, I can make one out of this microphone. Oh, you know what, Thomas? I find that, like everything you say, hard to believe. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh. It, uh, that's already... Oh, it's loaded. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh. growing up. <gasps> My parents smoked weed. <gasps> that explains why I was raised in a hippie commune and why my middle name is Sunbeam. <laughs> my whole life is a lie. Oh, screw it. Pass me that bong. <laughs> <laughs> I see the northern lights. Where? <laughs> 